hello and welcome to Gadget Guard Back Dat Glass Up, hosted by Voicecom. I see a lot of you are joining in today. Good stuff. I love it. So my name is Jen, and I'm your Voicecom product expert. Uh, today here, we are with my friend Rebecca Ellis from Gadget Guard, who will be taking you on a tour of what and why Gadget Guard is a no-brainer for your offer. Well, welcome everybody to the Gadget Guard Back Dat Glass Up webinar. Really excited for you guys to be here and um, get some knowledge about how Gadget Guard can increase your business. Let's see here. All right, so there's a lot of glass options out there. So why Gadget Guard? There's a, a lot of reasons to choose Gadget Guard. We make you a lot of money. We outsell our competition. We know screen protection and you're gonna get the most support. Anytime you talk to anybody who sells Gadget Guard, you're gonna hear them say, they get the most support from Gadget Guard. And very important for your business, we also hit launch. So we know those devices are launching, they're coming out, you need accessories to sell, and we always hit launch. That's very important for your business, and not all of our competition can say that. There's a lot of combinations out there for the glass and adhesive, and we design and formulate each guard design for each device to ensure that the best customer experience occurs with our products, um, which is a really, really important because every design, as you guys know, with, with different devices out there, the guards are all totally different. The displays are different. And a lot of people don't know this, but the makeup of each display is different. So you really do have to know what kind of adhesive you're using and change it based on each display design. Um, and most recently, the Galaxy S9 launch. I'm not sure if everybody had experienced a recall, but a lot of our competition did get recalled. And this is the second year in a row for a Galaxy launch that Gadget Guard was the only viable product on the market. So we're really proud of our products and I'm really excited to work for a company that makes launch and also has a great design at launch. Uh, another benefit to Gadget Guard is our plus program, which I'm gonna go into depth about um, later in this presentation, but it took almost two years that Gadget Guard created the world's first insured line of screen protectors and really changed the industry. You're not going to, if we were the first ones to the market with this program, we created it and really set the standard and moved the bar up as far as screen protection goes. And we're really excited to talk to you guys about that here in a minute. And finally, our Cornus 2.0 product will also be discussed here in a moment. This is a curved glass product that has full adhesive and nobody else out there can match this product. We have a few competitors out there that have launched it and they've already recalled it. And our product still is out there on the market and continually increasing sales in each dealer that's decided to pick up this product. So the Black Ice Plus family, let's talk about that for a minute. The plus means you break it, we buy it. It has all of the benefits of our Black Ice product but the plus is a warranty on the device screen. We just upped the peace of mind amount from $100 to 150. So what that means is if a customer buys this Black Ice Plus product, they put it on their device and they somehow break the display on their phone, Gadget Guard's gonna reimburse them up to $150 of the cost for them to either replace their display or replace their phone. We have a really simple claims process that I'll walk you through briefly. Uh, and this pro program works really well with other handset insurance plans. So anybody who has a $200 claim to replace a device, we're gonna cover 150 of that. So it's really awesome tangible benefit that the customer can see right there at the point of sale and will really help your employees attach that. So what does the Black Ice Plus do for your business? Well, Right off the bat, you cannot buy this product in a two pack on Amazon. We hear a lot of people ask, you know, how is our glass different? You know, really one of the big differentiators is this plus program and our lifetime warranty. And when the customer sees that we're willing to back our product up, up to $150, it adds instant value to the customer. So what that means to you as a business is you get extra margin. You can charge more for this product. So let's take a company that sells 10,000 units of Black Ice a month. If you were to sell the Black Ice Plus product instead, 
you'd increase the margin by $5 per unit. You take that by 12 months in a year, that's over a half a million dollars more a year that you're gonna make just by selling this product. And I'm very confident in saying that your attach rates are gonna stay the same, if not go up, because every trial that we have done in the last two years has ended with increased attach rates and we've never had a trial not be successful. Every trial that we have done with any dealer and any carrier has ended up picking up our Black Ice Plus product across the board. So they see the value in it, the customers see the value in it, and the reps see the value in it. This is a, a take a look at our Black Ice Plus claims process. It used to be a 15 day registration period. Now, as of May 1st, when we increased from $100 to $150, we increased the registration time for the customer to register this $150 claim for 30 days. So they now have a full month to get online and register their new product and be covered for that 150 bucks. So this is the old process. They used to click in there, file a claim, and they'd have to call this 1-800 number and that, that was the process for the $100. Well, we made it to where they didn't actually have to call in. The new process, they can just go online, they file a claim, they'll enter their IMEI, and you'll see they just upload a picture. It's a really smooth process, put in their shipping address. And one of my favorite things is at the very end, the customer will get an email from Chase Bank and they can either have money transferred to them through Chase Bank, they can use this new Zelle app, or they can have a check cut to them. So it's really up to them how fast they get the money. It's 100% their choice. Um, they can do the money transfer, the Zelle bank transfer, or they can do a paper check. So we're really excited about this new improved process. It's worked really well. We've done a test market with it and the results have been really positive. So pretty excited about this new process internally. One of the greatest products that I believe we launched at CES is Black Ice Cornice 2.0. I mentioned it earlier. It's our curved full adhesive tempered glass protection. And the greatest thing about this product is it took away the issues with touch sensitivity. And once it goes on, it stays on. You're not gonna have any issues with it popping off or um, only having an adhesive around the edges it makes it a little more viable for bumping it and having it pop off. So having the full adhesive on there, really make sure that this guard is on there and it stays on there. One of my favorite things about this product is that the alignment tool is included in every package. So every single Cornus 2.0 product is going to have a guide inside the packaging with a squeegee. So you're gonna get a perfect install every time. We made sure to make sure that the designs are case friendly. And this product also has our lifetime warranty. So the customer's totally covered on this product. And this product also comes with the availability to add the plus with it. So this could also be a Black Ice Cornice Plus 2.0 with the $150 guarantee, which is amazing, especially for those curved devices. Another one of our products that also comes with the plus program is our Black Ice Liquid Edition. So I know liquid is all the rage. People either love it or hate it. There's no in between with people out in the market about this product. But I will say that we do offer this product. It has enhanced screen protection. We do offer a reapply program, which is awesome. We want customers to continually be covered on their device and make sure that they have a great product on their device. It is antimicrobial. And one of the coolest things about this product is it is a once you fits all solution. So you don't have to buy a new liquid product for every device that comes out. It's very universal. And this product can work on tablets up to 10 inches. So one thing that I did want to review briefly is with GadgetGuard, we're covering everyone. And I just covered a couple of different options that we offer internally, um, just GadgetGuard. But this kind of breaks it down on what customers should be buying which product. So liquid should really only be served and sold to somebody who wants scratch protection and edge to edge protection and really dislikes traditional screen protection. If there's somebody who drops their phone a lot or is really hard on their device, this is not gonna protect them from impact. We have a lot of competition out there that is saying it is. The reality is GadgetGuard likes to keep it real. 
We want to make sure we're, we're backing our products up and saying what they can actually do and how they perform. And liquid is just not a great solution for impact protection, but it's a great solution for scratch protection in somebody who does not like that traditional screen protection. Uh, our Black Ice Plus products are awesome. Scratch protection, impact protection, plus they get that $150 peace of mind. You can't go wrong with that at all. And our Cornus Plus Edition, you get the scratch protection, the impact protection, and the edge-to-edge -edge protection. The curb design, it is still case-friendly, remember that. And you're also gonna get that $150 peace of mind if you buy the Plus. So, one of the last products I'll talk about before I uh, change over to a different line is our new Black Ice Back Glass Edition. So we really want to back that glass up at GadgetGuard, not only on the front of the device, but also on the back. So with all the new Apple devices that launched, the back of the device is glass, and we decided to launch a glass solution for the back of the phone. It's a, it's a flat tempered glass, it's shatterproof, it's been tempered twice, has an oleophobic coating on it, and it is a proprietary design that we designed specifically for each phone. Now remember, this only works on the new iPhone, so the 8, 8 Plus, and 10. The other Apple devices do not have glass on the back, so this will not work with anything that does not have glass. Um, this product still comes with our lifetime warranty and uh, is a really great product. I'd be happy to send you some samples. You just gotta shoot me an email and I'll take care of that at the end here. But really cool product. Handed a lot of these out, people really like them and a few dealers have picked them up now and are really liking the results. The final product I'll talk to you guys is Keep It Clean. Not only do we wanna back that glass up, but we wanna keep it clean. We have our awesome Tectonic program where this is a high performance tech cleaner that comes with free refills. So the, one of the coolest things about this is when a customer here is free, they're instantly engaged. So this is a program where a customer can buy this product. It's a two ounce bottle of spray cleaner. And then they can come back into your location and get free refills for the life of that bottle. So what that does is that brings that customer back into your location and creates an opportunity for your reps and your store managers to have another conversation with this customer. Might be an opportunity to sell them another product that maybe they couldn't afford when they purchase the phone and their screen protector and their case and all the other jams at the very beginning. This is an opportunity to see how many if they want to add some lines or maybe upgrade their phone. So it just gives you that opportunity to get the customer back into your location and create another conversation with that customer and make them loyal to your location. So it's a really program, cool program. GadgetGuard offers and pays for the free refills. We send out these 12 ounce pouches um, we can get you all dialed in with that. That's not a problem. But this is a great item to sell in a bundle as well. Um, but the non-toxic formula is perfect for cleaning more than just electronics. They can use it. I use that on my eyeglasses. Um, I use that on my computer all the time on airplanes. So it's really a universal product. And to be honest, a lot of the people I know use it to clean their golf clubs. So keep that in mind, all you golfers out there. Um, one last thing about our support, we do a lot of training, we do store visits, webinars, um, we like to do a lot of team engagement. If you have any sort of sponsorships that you're looking for, GadgetGuard is happy to support you on that. And we do a lot of contests, we do sell to earn, spiffs, um, anything that you really want to put together, what, what you think will motivate your team and how we can help you increase attach rates, communicate with us. That's exactly what we want to help you do. We want to help you grow your business. So. If you have any questions or you want samples of any of these products, please feel free to email me at rellis at gadgetguard.com. I'm happy to take care of you, get you lined up with some of our new products and see how GadgetCard can uh, increase some revenue for your company and increase attach rates for your stores. Thank you. Awesome, Becky. Thanks. That was a great presentation. I think we covered a ton of ground. Uh, looks like we had a couple questions roll in while you were going over everything. So we'll go ahead and get that started here. Um, the first question comes from Nathan. He said, does the new process include liquid ice? How do you show pictures of the liquid edition? You know, the new process does not cover the liquid. The 
That's a really great question. We have a reapply program that we're finishing up that we're going to send out to where customers would just log on and they can register for it. Um, but the, oh, you mean for the plus program? Sorry, I was thinking about for a lifetime warranty. Um, yeah, for the plus program, once they're registered, then they're registered. So that, that when they take a picture, they don't actually have to take a picture of like the broken guard not sitting on the table or anything like that. So all they would do is take a picture of their device. We know it's liquid, we know you can't see it, but the idea is that they registered the product within that 30 days. So we know that that product is on their device. So that's a great question. All right, cool. Um, tacking onto that a little bit, Michelle wanted to know, could you give more details on the reapply program? The reapply program. So um, the details that I have so far, that's a brand new product that we are just launching here. Uh, the reapply program will work where they can shoot us an email and as long as they're registered, they will pay a discounted price for another solution to put on their device. So instead of paying, you know, 25 or $40, depending on which product they purchased for the liquid, they would be able to pay $10 instead and get a new liquid in the mail. Cool, thanks. Uh, next, Colin wants to know, does the $150 guarantee apply to existing screen protectors or just the new ones? Great question, Colin. Yeah, that is a great question, Colin. So it is only for the new screen protectors. So anybody who's currently carrying our product for the Plus, you'll see just our regular Plus packaging. With the new ones that come in, there's going to be a, a UPC that starts with the letter V as in Victor, and it will have a little sticker on the front that says new. And that one right there that says new on it will qualify for the $150. So if they've already purchased it and it's already registered, it qualifies for the $100. And anything new going forward, which um, just started May 1st, so it's very new, those ones going forward will have the full $150. Awesome, thanks Rebecca. Uh, we have Carmen here. Um, I'm not sure if there's something you can answer on the fly, but maybe you could speak to it a little bit. So she said, with the Curve 2.0, I noticed the cost is a lot higher. While I believe it is a superior product, I think we could cut down the cost by not including the tool to line it up in every package. It looked like when I got a sample that you included every time. Couldn't we just send the plastic guides uh, separately with labels? You know, actually, that's a that's a really great question, Carmen. The guides are really not that expensive. It's only about, I think they're like five to eight cents a piece. So that's really not where the the expense is. The curved glass is really the the expense. So when we first launched our Cornus 1.0 two years ago, um, the cost was higher at that point in time. As we continue to buy more product and increase volume, we were able to lower the costs on that. And we anticipate that's what's gonna happen with the Cornus 2.0. But the reality is with the manufacturing process with this brand new product, it still is a work in progress. And over 28% of the material that we use to manufacture that product is waste that we have to write off from issues in the manufacturing process. So until we can increase production on that and take care of some of those issues, um, we, we are unfortunately, strapped on that. I agree with you. I'd love to lower the price because I feel like I could have a few more dealers pick it up. But I will tell you that I've had a few dealers that have taken a chance on it um, and are more willing to pay the extra price. And what they're seeing is an increase in attach rates and they're making more money off that product rather than the liquid. The margin's a little bit higher and they know that they're selling a better product to their customer. And also, as we all know, um, the happier a customer is with the product, the less they come back into your store um, and have complaints. So a happy customer is a good thing. We want them to always be happy. So I would uh, I would recommend just trying it out and seeing, because I think that you will see that customers will, are willing to pay a little bit more for a good product. As a buyer myself, that was really good to know. Thanks for the question, Carmen. Um, Next question I have comes from Eric, and it's similar to a question that I had from Jason. So Jason wanted to know, does the customer have a choice of where to get their phone repaired? And Eric wants to know, as a retail repair store, does GadgetGuard do anything to encourage the buyer to return to the place of purchase to get their device repaired when taking advantage of the claim? 
So those are, those are both really great and similar questions. So um, we do have preferred retailers that they can go to where they can get their $150 on the front end. So let's say the repair is $150 exactly. They go to one of our preferred repair centers and then they get that 150 is just off the front so they don't have to pay anything up front. So they do have that option. If you're interested in being one of those preferred vendors or repair shops, you can shoot me an email at this rls at gadgetguard.com and I can uh, put you in touch with the correct people who can get you aligned up for that. Um, so we do have that option. Otherwise, we really don't direct them anywhere else than other than our preferred vendors. We, a lot of people, to be honest, in our experience, have, are usually making claims with somebody like a Shurion. So they're sending the device back in. So they just upload their receipt that shows that they sent their phone back for a screen repair. So we do not encourage them necessarily to go back to where they purchased it from because a lot of our dealers that we work with do not offer in-store repair. But if you are interested in being a preferred vendor, please email me, rellis at gadgetguard.com. Awesome, thanks for answering that one. Uh, next one I think I can actually answer. Nathan wants to know, do I need to contact GadgetGuard or Voicecom in order to get the Tectonic refill kits? Nathan, you can contact your Voicecom sales rep. Um, if you do not know who that is, I can, I can help you find that out after the webinar. Um, and they'll get you set up with that. Eric also wanted to know, can GadgetGuard offer glass replacements in the retail store to encourage the customer to return to our location? You know, we actually are working on a program right now for that, and we should have more information on that in about two weeks. And it will be a program that we initially trial in a couple of different dealers and see, make sure that we work out all the kinks before we launch it um, across the board. So if you are interested in being somebody who is part of that trial, you can shoot me an email at rls at gadgetguard.com and we can take a look and see if you would be a good fit for our trial. Because that's definitely a need out in the field and, and we want to we want to set the standard there. So great question. Cool. Thanks, Rebecca. Uh, Cole here wants to know, does the back glass work with phone cases? It does actually work with a lot of the phone cases. Um, as long as it's not a really tight, tight fitting case most cases it does work for. So, you know, people invest a lot of money in these phones, spending $900, $1,000 on a device. And even with a case on it, it's always nice to have a little extra protection. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I take my case off and uh, roll with just my device and my screen guard on the front, my good old gadget guard. So I really like the fact knowing that I have that piece of glass on the back as well to make sure my device is taken care of. So it's a great question. You're a risk taker. Naked phones make me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. So final question that I see here. Carmen wants to know, uh, will we see that future liquid glass additions will allow for fewer scratches? So you guys pumping up the formula? We are. We actually just reformulated it. And um, you guys have no idea what that process looks like. It's very intense. Uh, but we did go ahead and change our formula a little bit to offer a little bit stronger scratch protection. We do a lot with the more scale rating. So um, if everybody wants to go back to their seventh grade science class, that's a scratch test where you can test the hardness of a glass. So we're continually trying to improve that and not only be better than our competitors, but be fit the best out in the market and offer a really superior product. So um, unfortunately with deep scratches, there's not much you can do. A lot of people will, you know, scratch their phone with their keys. And, you know, the keys are actually a pretty sharp item. So that, that's just going to happen. But somebody who's really careful you shouldn't see a, a ton of scratches. Cool. Uh, looks like we had one more question roll yeah. in. Um, Pixel 2 and XL Glass seems to have a hard time fitting with some major phone case brands. Will we see a change on those around the corner? I mean, you, you guys know, are always innovating the fit, so yeah. Yeah, we usually do rolling changes. The hardest thing, um, you know, one of our, one of our, apparently one of the biggest sailors out there for one of our dealers is the Incipio um, Dual Pro case. And that unfortunately looks like a great fit. And then the customer leaves the store and there's not enough wiggle room between the two and it pushes the guard off. Um, and the Pixel 2 XL was not something that we decided to make the Cornus 2.0 for. 
there just isn't enough sales volume on it to validate that higher cost. So I'm hoping going forward as Google continues to expand out into the market that we'll, they'll sell more devices and that will make sense for us to change over the 2.0 for their guards. But um, unfortunately, we do test with a lot of the major manufacturers for all of our guards. And it's just impossible to get them to all fit without covering most of the display. And since we're concerned about screen protection, we want to make sure that the LCD is covered as best as it can be. Um, so that's really the biggest importance to us. But then making sure it's case friendly with, you know, 80% of the cases out there is important as well. But 100% just isn't really viable when you're trying to cover the entire display.